Anthony Slater here with Darnell Mayberry. We're inside the peak after a surprisingly exciting Thunder win over the Philadelphia 76ers, but they had to go to overtime to do it, 123-118. A lot of bad tonight as far as, especially defensively against, you know, probably the league worst Sixers team. You give up 118 points, uh, but a lot of good, and, you know, most of it is Russell Westbrook. 46 points, 16 rebounds, 10 assists. Hey. 49 points. 49, Don't shortchange yeah, that man his three points. My fault. I was thinking of a Vince Carter stat. Vince Carter had a 46, 16, and 10 back in 2007. He's the only guy in the last 30 years. Now, Russell Westbrook one-upped him. Uh, he was pretty great, you know, the whole way. Yeah, he was fantastic. You don't see triple doubles very often with 40 points, 15 rebounds, 10 assists. The guy had a career-high 16 rebounds, 49 points. He got to the line 20 times and made 16 of them. Uh, one of the best things I liked about his game, he had four turnovers, only one in the last 33 minutes. He really showed a lot of leadership, poise, and control tonight. You mentioned the triple double, that's four consecutive triple doubles for Westbrook. The first guy since Jordan in 89, only the sixth guy ever. And I think what a kind of interesting stat, he, his, he has uh, nine career 40 point games now. Five of them have come in the last 35 days. He's on some type of scoring binge, and not just scoring binge, just binge overall in basketball yeah, right now. Yeah, I think Nick Collison said it best. He's coming out and really competing in all facets, and that's really showing up in his numbers. He's rebounding, he's passing, he's taking care of the ball, he's getting steals, playing defense, uh, and obviously scoring, which he does probably best. Uh, some, one of the best in the league at doing that. I think he's now leading the league in scoring after yep. tonight. So uh, just a fantastic um, February for, for Russell Westbrook and now the start of a fantastic March. Yeah, we're, we're, we've talked MVP with him, and I think we've both kind of been hesitant to put him as maybe the favorite. Uh, yeah. You've had Harden, I've yeah. had Curry. Yeah. He's starting to, you know, tilt yeah. the scales a little bit yeah, with night little after bit. night yeah. after night of yeah. this. Especially, I mean, we haven't even talked about it, but he was coming back off facial surgery, which he's had, you know, he had Sunday. He comes back wearing a mask tonight and does that. Incredible performance. I mean, the guy had a dent in his face right up at his cheek, uh, and he comes out tonight without the mask. You know, with the exception of that, you would have known anything was wrong with him. So um, the way he competes, you know, we've just never seen anything like Russell Westbrook at his position, uh, his athleticism, his ferociousness, uh, his relentlessness, just the way he keeps coming at you is just incredibly impressive. And so, I mean, it sounds superlative to say we've never seen anything like Russell Westbrook, but he is putting up numbers that we have never seen before. I mean, regardless of, you know, his type of play, that he's up there with Will and MJ and, and even surpassing them on, on, on almost every night basis. Including myself, thought Russell might need a couple of games to get used to wearing a mask, uh, we were wrong. Uh, he was all over the floor, another triple-double. Uh, he still thinks it's February, but it was really a, a great performance on him. But I thought the, 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 the game changed with our bench. All five guys impacted the game, and we needed it. Our starters did not have, uh, they didn't have their best stuff tonight, and that's gonna happen from time to time. Uh, that's why you need a, a good uh, bench to come in and, and give a spark. And I thought they did that twice. Uh, they did it in the first half, and then they did it in the second half. I think we were down 16 at that time. And they came in and, and did a great job of, of really sparking it and changing the game with defensive stops and effort. Were able to seal the deal there? Uh, they didn't keep stops. I mean, they made some big shots down the stretch. Um, they played hard the, the whole game. They came out, came out with a Honestly, the ones that beat us, and we came out a little lazy. I think our, our second unit did a great job of uh, giving us a lift and uh, giving us a big minute. You've been playing this way for your whole career, but now in this little stretch here to hear your name alongside Michael Jordan, Oscar Robertson, these guys, in terms of your statistics, does that mean anything to you? I mean, it's definitely a blessing, man, but more importantly, I think it's important that we, we're winning. We're winning games, and I think that's, that's the most important part. Um, everybody on this team did a great job. Uh, contributing and coming out every night and uh, giving us what they have. His job is to lead our team. You know, I thought the, his, I mean, it's hard for me to say this because he had 49 points, uh, 16 rebounds, and, and, and 10, 10 assists. But his best job tonight, when he kept his composure throughout the game, when we were down 16 and he was encouraging his teammates. And they need that. We all need that. And I thought he did a good job of really locking in in, in his leadership um, tonight. And, you know, that's, that's what makes him a great player. From here, 
you can, you're going to try to hop on a plane to Chicago. It might be tough to get out of here because yeah. of the snow. It might be tough to get into Chicago because of the snow. But an interesting game tomorrow night, regardless. Thunder Bulls uh, in Chicago. You know, Bulls are playing all right right now. Thunder don't have Durant. What do you expect? Well, if Russell Westbrook plays like yeah. this, I expect another Thunder win. But the Bulls have been all right. I mean, they're they're four and two on a seven game homestand that they have right now. So uh, tomorrow night's game in Chicago is going to be the seventh game of a seven game homestand for the Bulls. They don't have Derrick Rose, they don't have Jimmy Butler, and they don't have Taj Gibson. That's a lot of firepower they're missing. But they just beat the Wizards at home, so you can't take that for granted. Right? <laughs> Tell me about it. So uh, you know you got to make sure you go out out there in the Chicago. Uh, and take care of business. But if Russell Westbrook plays like this, it should be another fun one. Yeah, that'll do it for us. Uh, for the best Thunder coverage team anywhere, stay tuned to newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.